Hi, my name is Vena. I'm originally from Rio, but I live in Nandi. I love listening to Today FM. Today FM rocks. Bula, I'm John from Kornabuan Tapua. I love listening to Today FM. It rocks. Bula, I'm Tupola. Bula, I'm Atanisi. We love listening to Today FM because it rocks in bar. Bula, my name is Tisa. I love listening to Today FM. Today's hit music on Today FM. In the news, fuel prices rise at midnight. But the caller says it will guarantee mine safety. And Indian expert doctors to receive a local pay rate. From the studios of FBC Suba, Jackie Spade. Fuel prices will increase at midnight tonight. Minister for Trade Fires Koya says this is because of a cutback in production by OPEC countries as well as fluctuations in international currencies. Maggie Boyle reports. Fuel prices are going up. As of um, <clears throat> midnight this evening, there'll be a um, fuel price change with respect to motor spirits, premix, kerosene, and diesel, and uh, the prices will rise. Now, one of the, the underlying reason for for the price rise is that uh, OPEC decided to cut production um, around about November last year. So we are now feeling the effects of that. From midnight tonight, motor spirit will increase by 12 cents to $1.95. Premix will rise by 13 cents to $1.80. Kerosene will cost $1.36 tomorrow, a 10 cents hike. And diesel is up by 13 cents to $1.60. Our Prime Minister is, is uh, taking up the COP23 presidency with respect to climate change. So we're asking all citizens to be mindful of the fact that Fiji is being showcased around the world. And as such, you know, be careful how you use the fossil fuels at the end of the day. There is a cost factor attached to this also. There is also a major increase in LPG gas prices with a regular 12 kilogram cylinder most households have going up by more than $5. The current retail price of $32.11 will increase to $37.11 from tomorrow. For some, the new rates means a rush to the pumps today. It's going too much, eh? Because the job is too very slack nowadays. Oh, that's me pinching a lot of notes out from my purse, yeah, I'll feel that. That's why I'm here. I think it should not increase looking at the economy, but uh, we can't do much, we have to go with it. The Commerce Commission says they will be monitoring businesses to ensure they're not overcharging consumers. We work closely with the oil companies as well as the gas companies to have a list of the uh, shops that they're supplying to. And once we go, we have the list, we visit the shops and we ensure that inspections are done. And whereby we find uh, people that are overcharging, of course fines are then warranted. The maximum fine per offence is about $3,000. The increase in prices also comes as the US dollar weakens against the Fiji dollar, with oil-rich countries choosing to cut back on production, effectively driving oil prices up. Maggie Boyle, FBC News. The management of the Vatakola Gold Mines Limited has assured that the safety of its miners is absolutely paramount. The company's underground operations were shut down temporarily on Tuesday after miners were injured in underground operations. Akusita Tale reports the mining company met with the Mineral Resources Department today to discuss safety issues. The three-hour meeting between the heads of the Mineral Resources Department and the management of the gold mine looked at many issues, among which preventing injuries was on top of the agenda. Any accidents in the mine site is, is uh, of major concern. Eh? Uh, human life, loss of human life is of major concern in any work area. So uh, that is, uh, that is uh, important to us eh? and that concerns safety. The mining company says it is committed to address the safety issues that were raised today. One of the way forward is the safety audit, which is uh, to address the, the issues with uh, the safety issues underground. So that is the way forward that we have uh, discussed and a lot of other uh, technical uh, uh, things that uh, needs to be addressed by the, the mine. Underground operations have been halted to accommodate an audit that has been carried out by the Mineral Resources Department. We have to be careful. And as I say, safety is paramount in all these situations. They've got a large number of employees, uh, a thousand plus odd employees that are at the mine, so that must be undertaken before they start uh, commence uh, mining again. 
The decision to temporarily shut down the mine was made following a fatality and numerous injuries sustained by miners working in the shafts. The safety audit is expected to take a few weeks. Akusit Tale, FBC News. The Health and Medical Services Ministry has clarified that medical specialists to be recruited from India will be on similar wage scale as local doctors. The Minister for the Economy had highlighted during the budget consultations that there is a lack of specialists in the country. Pranita Prakash reports. Health Minister Rosie Agbar says the plans to recruit medical specialists from India began a few months ago. Uh, India Attorney General and I visited um, India and uh, we started negotiations then and uh, the advertisements for these positions that? have been advertised broadly locally and internationally and based on that we are going to go out there and interview specialists to be based here in Fiji. The Minister and the Permanent Secretary will be travelling to Geneva next month to attend the World Health General Assembly, following which they will be travelling to India to carry out the recruitment. The, the salaries will be the same salaries as we pay our own doctors. Um, obviously, if we relocate them, we'll have to pay them to get here. But once they get here, they'll just be paid the same as, as if local. they were locally recruited. The Minister has assured that the Ministry is committed to provide necessary equipment and facilities to meet the growing demand for health services. Pranita Prakash, FBC News. A New Zealand vessel will arrive late this month to assist in monitoring of our exclusive economic zone. Fisheries Minister Semi Koroi Lavisau says the agreement with the New Zealand government will boost EEZ surveillance. Sainiani Boiler reports. PKE Chairman Zed Hawel will soon arrive to monitor Fiji waters for the next six months is going to happen uh, before the end of the month where New Zealand will uh, post one of its vessels here in Fiji where uh, our, our officials from the, um, from the Ministry of Physics and also from uh, the Navy will be posted on board to assist in uh, the surveillance of our waters. Fiji Military Force Commander Rear Admiral William Inopoto says the arrival of the HMNZ Hawaii will be a great opportunity for our naval officers. Uh, the New Zealand uh, patrol vessel HMNZ Hawaii is arriving on the 29th uh, of this month, next week on Saturday. Uh, they are coming in as uh, part of New Zealand's uh, assistance to us uh, in the surveillance of our EZ. Uh, they will be based in Fiji for six months. HMNZ Hawaii will complement the efforts of our operational patrol boats, Kikau and Kula, in all their maritime tasks, including surveillance, law enforcement and sea, search and rescue, and medical evacuation. Sainia Nimboila, FBC News. Still to come, renovation of the Mayat Hospital to be completed soon, and suspended MP applies for judicial review. हम लोगों में रहते हैं और मिर्ची एफएम सबसे बेस्ट स्टेशन है हमारा नाम मिर्ची है हम गोल्ड ऑन तावुआ में रहता है और मिर्ची इज हॉट इन तावुआ हाय वी बाय हेल्स वी लव मिर्ची एफएम बिकॉज़ इट्स हॉट निवेश तावरा वहां में रहता है सुनता है यहां मिर्ची एफएम इज वेरी हॉट मिर्ची एफएम इट्स हॉट Renovation of the Miat Hospital is expected to be completed by September. Hospital Managing Director Dr. Mahanda says they have been preparing their staff for the new look of the hospital. Anna Ravulo has more. The Managing Director of the Miat Hospital says getting all the equipment and renovations sorted is not a challenge. It's preparing the staff for the job. There is a small uh, area uh, similar to the problem that India had 34 years ago of highly specialized services. How do we select which services to provide? How do we make sure that these services work? And how do we make sure that we have the staff to use the services? And that's the challenge. Dr. Mohandas recently sent two of their staff to the Miyot International Hospital in India to learn as much as they could about the advanced equipment. Like what amazes me was the technology in it. Uh, like they have the very best, you can say, operating theater in the world, and I'm looking forward for that kind of setup to be done here. And uh, I think it's one of the ways that uh, we will improve 
the rate of infection. There will be 32 specialists from India arriving when the renovation is completed to help Miot staff in Fiji in operating and maintaining the new equipment. Anna Ravulo, FBC News. More than $1.8 million has been allocated for minor works in the facilities managed by medical superintendents and district medical officers. The Minister for Health and Medical Services revealed this during the opening of the newly renovated Navua Hospital Kitchen. Rosie Akbar says the allocated money is part of a major program to support improvement in the hospitals, health centers and nursing stations. They won't be funding major developments or new buildings, but rather using the money for those smaller items which can make a big difference to our patients, the staff's day-to-day -day experience. And I expect to see some changes starting to happen soon. There are currently no plans to introduce specific regulations to cover private health insurance in Fiji. During a one-day health insurance seminar, Ministry of Health Permanent Secretary Philip Davies said the priority is to look at the impacts of increased uptake of private health insurance and hence private health services on public hospitals. Better off people pay more tax, so they're helping to pay a larger share of health care costs for services that are used to a greater extent by those who are less well off. And by making most services free of charge for everybody, the risk of facing large and unexpected costs is reduced. Suspended parliamentarian Ratui Sotikova has filed an application in the Suva High Court for leave to apply for judicial review. Tikova is challenging the decision of parliament to suspend him for the rest of the term of parliament until 2018. The Speaker of Parliament is represented by Solicitor General Sharvada Sharma. Sharma, is, uh, Sharma objected to the application and also filed an application for a stay to await the decision in the case of Ratanangama Lalambalavu because the same arguments were made in that case. However, High Court Judge Justice Senevaratne told Sharma that Ratanangama's case is separate and they will not await the decision of the Lalambalavu case. Sharma says he will file a strikeout application in the next two weeks. The matter has been adjourned to the 19th of May. The Ministry of Agriculture today signed a memorandum of understanding for the cookbook Kanavinaka in order to achieve one of government's goals of going local. Author Colin Chung says processed foods have become common and are replacing traditional cuisines. He says it's important to make use of local ingredients to produce healthy recipes. Make correct choices, and every one of you can do this in your own homes. Not even with the cookbook, but with the idea that uh, we stay away from imported processed foods. This will in turn align with government's uh, objective of utilizing local ingredients and in the process minimizing or reducing uh, import bill. Coming up later in Sports with Anna, we bring you the latest updates on the Coke Games. But before that, Rachel is here with business. Thank you, Jacqueline. Good evening and coming up in business tonight. A slight decrease recorded in Vista arrivals last month. And in growing Fiji, multi-million dollar resort near its completion. Stay with us. I'm Prafnil from Nikota and I love listening to you today. Okay. My name is Danny Gudler and I'm from Australia but I'm part region from Wadraki and I love listening to Today FM Rocks. For the best music and less talk, we tune into Today FM in National Life Village. Today FM Rocks. My name is Inaya Ali and I'm from Ba and I love the big breakfast on Today FM. I just love it and hope you love it too. My name is Jay from La Pasa. I love listening to Today FM. Today FM Rocks. My name is Naushin and I'm from San Beto and I love Today FM, Today FM Rocks. Today's hit music on Today FM. Business tonight, over 54,000 visitors entered the country last month. This is a decrease of 2.8% compared, uh, compared to the year earlier. Decreased arrivals recorded from Australia, United Kingdom, Japan and New Zealand. Increases were recorded from countries like the US, Pacific Islands, Asia, Europe, Canada, South Korea and China. Tourists arriving for holidays accounted for over 70% of total arrivals. Most were between the ages of 50, 24 to 64. Meanwhile, the industry is gearing up for another great Fijian tourism expo next month. 
now in its fourth year. The organizers will be looking at record numbers of international buyers and travel reps who will confirm who have confirmed they will attend this event. Team Fiji, conceived at last year's expo, is evident with the tourism Fiji working with the national airline and the industry partners in showcasing Fiji as a destination and ensuring a stronger presence in the global market. Now looking at economic scenes influencing the markets today, here's Elizabeth from HFC Bank. Vinaka Rachel, New Zealand has hit its inflation target for the first time in five years their first quarter inflation recorded 2.2%. Japan's exports rose 12% from a year earlier. Their imports recorded 15.8%, which is the biggest gain in more than three years. And their trade surplus for much was 614.7 billion yen. Meanwhile, a drop in oil prices has weighed down the energy sector, which in turn has pulled the S&P 500 and the Dow Jones lower by 0.01% and 0.39% respectively. Also, investors are being cautious in their trading on the market as they await the outcome of the first stage of the French presidential elections due this weekend. Thanks, Elizabeth. On to today's exchange rates. The Fijian dollar weakened against the Chinese yuan and the American dollar closing at 3.24 and 46 cents respectively. Closer to home, the Australian and New Zealand dollars strengthened to close at 62 and 66 cents, while the PNG Kina dropped closing at 1.30. On to the commodities market, oil prices continued its downwards trend for the third day, closing at 50.46 a barrel. Gold rose to close at 1,279 an ounce, and silver went down, closing at 18.16 an ounce. In Goen, Fiji, the Yendua Bay Resort uh, Villas which is the Hexagon Group of Hotels' biggest property development in Fiji, is expected to be open by the end of the year. Group Managing Director Dixon Sito says the resort, which is situated in Malangeregeri near Singatoka, is in its completion stage. Once completed, the $10 million resort will employ more than 100 people. And in, uh, in the Singatoka area. But not only that, it'll actually give people opportunities to supply the hotels with various things like food, fish, meat and things like that. So it actually is going to be a, a catalyst for economic development in that area. And that's it from Business Tonight. Anna joins us now with the latest from the Coke game. So Anna, I hear there's some interesting results in. That's very true, Rachel. The student athletes have displayed some great performances today. So up ahead in sports, 32-year Coca-Cola games record broken. And Nandrong are ready to battle Nandi in the Skipper Showdown. This and more after the break. Well, what did we tell you? My phone call and rush and look over. The bar Talitakana for on a radio free one. Bulan and Rango of Fina, my Corbiri Nandi, of the Talitakana for on a radio free one. Day one competition of the Coca Cola Games has come to an end. Ratu Kondavulevu School lead the boys' division with two gold and one silver medal, followed by Maris Brothers High School and Queen Victoria School. In the girls' division, Andi Rakumbao School leads with one gold medal, two silver and one bronze medal. Second is Xavier College and St. Joseph Secondary School is third. Chantal Lockington of Xavier College in Bar broke a 32-year-old Coca-Cola Games record, taking home a gold medal in the junior girls' high jump this afternoon. Lockington cleared the bar at 1.66 meters while the old record stood at 1.62 meters set way back in 1985 by Sani Mili Toloi of Andi Vakambao School. I'm trying very hard. I tried last year but uh, due to an, uh, knee injury I couldn't. But uh, yeah, this year I really wanted to break it so here I am. Maru Dambai of Richmond High School in Kandavu bagged the first gold medal at the Games today. 
She came first in the junior girls javelin event throwing a distance of 37.33 meters. The 15-year-old had also won a gold medal in the same event last year. Meanwhile, Ate Maurice of Andidakambao School won silver while Elisabeth Lalama of St. John's College took the bronze. Also, Muadabuilati of Ratukandavulevu School won the first medal in the senior boys shot put. I'm feeling good, so I am separated from the coaches. And the boy here, how are you feeling, bro, for winning the first gold medal of uh, the Coca-Cola Games and for our case? I feel excited and excited. Tomorrow another day? No, this is the only event I'll take part in uh, the Coca-Cola game. Maya Ramstein has done it again, winning International Secondary School's first gold medal in the girls' 1,500 meters open grade at ANZ Stadium in Suva. Here's the highlight. Easily pushing through. That will be International Secondary School's first gold medal. Maya Ramston, and she again laps, laps another girl, and she's... Meanwhile, William Mr. Lusalo of Radukandavalevu School won another gold in the 1,500 meters senior boys division final. For the Immaculate Conception side, and in with him also is Benny from Lomaivuna. Lomaivuna, it is, uh, it is um, the, the um, number nine, and uh, Petro Verakora put it. RKS coming through. RKS will go away from Holy Cross, and RKS get a gold medal in the senior boys 1500 meters. RKS is uh, well, uh, get that uh, confirmed to you. RKS is uh, Viliame. Salu Salu, a good run by him, and they were bunched together. No one was outright favorite. Fasenok has suspended the membership of the Fiji Chess Federation. In a letter, Fasenok says its executive board discussed the, asso the association's status at a recent meeting. The board says despite issuing a letter last month, the association failed to hold an AGM and come to any satisfactory resolutions. It says the association's membership will be suspended until such time that all outstanding concerns have been resolved. The Nandronga rugby team is expecting a much tougher Skipper Cup competition this year. The defending champions are gearing up for their opening match against Nandi on Saturday. Captain Sekunai Kalo says Australians have to play seven games before securing a sport in the semi-finals. I've had uh, enough time to prepare. Um, and yeah, we, look, we, we are looking forward to this uh, Saturday's game. And, 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 we know, and we all know that um, Nandi is a very good team. In our play of the day, all eyes are on the school athletes of the Coca-Cola Games. Earlier this afternoon, Natambua High School senior sprinter Shane Tavusa put on an impressive show in the 100 meters hits. And they're off and they're running and it's a good start by Shane Tuvusa as Shane races away, followed closely by Nalamba secondary, but it is Shane Tuvusa. Nalamba secondary close by, then Queen Victoria and it'll be a close second finish, but it's e easy for Shane Tuvusa for the Natambua boy. Came out first, but it'll be a toss for the... That's it from Sports This Evening. Angie joins you with weather later on. And in new media today, pre-orders for Samsung's latest smartphone, the Galaxy S8, have surpassed a record 1 million units. But even on the first day, users have already lodged complaints. Kamal Roshni hai. Hum logo mein rehte hai. Aur Mirchi FM sabse best station hai. Hamar naam Messi hai. Ham Gold Town Tawwa mein rehta hai. Aur Mirchi is hot in Tawwa. Hi, we bad girls. We love Mirchi FM because it's hot. Nibes Tawra ba mein rehta hai. Sunta hai. Mirchi FM is very hot. Mirchi FM, it's hot. Pre-orders for Samsung Electronics' latest smartphone, the Galaxy S8, have surpassed a record 1 million units. However, from day one, users have lodged complaints about the colour of the display. And it's weather time now with Angie. Hello there and welcome to the Weather World. 
we had some good sunny breaks which is expected to stay with us for some time. Guess the weather is just in favour for Coke Games. Checking out the scenario in the west, the skies were clear with a cloud or two, temps are mostly at 32 degrees. Eastwards from Pak to Suva, conditions were muggy with sunlit skies. And up in Vanualevu, Lambasa was somewhat the same but temps rose to 33 degrees and Sabu Sabu was way cooler at 29. At sea, southeast winds 15 to 20 knots with moderate to rough seas. And for the tides, the next high tide early tomorrow morning will be at 2.07 with a low tide at 8.07. Sunrise will be at 6.17. Also tomorrow, clouds, clouds will roll in, bringing a bit of patchy rain in the west. Otherwise, it's another dry day with the best of the brighter skies to the top and tail country. Tomorrow's temps, Suva and Sabu Sabu will have highs of 29 and lows of 23 and 24, much cooler. And looking further on to Saturday, there is chances of light showers, but other than that, it will be a good shopping day. And that, Jackie, wraps up our FPC weather for tonight. Thanks so much for that, Angie. On Fiji Pulse today, as the Coke Games heat up, we asked, should students who are involved in brawls be arrested? I think uh, that'll be the best option because uh, uh, it'll be a way of uh, teaching them a lesson. They should because uh, uh, to teach them a lesson. They should be arrested and uh, because they should not be fighting. Recapping the main stories, fuel prices rise at midnight. Vatukola says it will guarantee mine safety and Indian expert doctors to receive local pay rate. For these stories and others, you can tune in daily to our sister radio station, Gold FM. To our poll question this week, we are asking, should heavy penalties be given to drunk drivers who continue to break the law? Visit our FPC website to answer. Before we go, our shot of the day, a perfect sunset captured at Evolution Fiji base at Radisson in Denarau. The shot was sent by Mark's love. Send us newsworthy pictures and videos on email fbcnews at fbc.com.fj or share it with us via Facebook page FBC News. Or you can also follow and tweet us your news tips at FBC underscore news or simply hashtag FBC News. And that was your FBC News for tonight from the team and I. Bye for now. Radio Fujiwan. Bula na rango ofina wa Kordiri Nandi. Ado talitaka na barongo ena Radio Fujiwan na programu ni mas masu ena matakalai lai. Oya ocho ni kurenambi la mai bunangoro na makete hinga toka kwe ado talitaka ni na barongo na Radio Fujiwan kenya na domo ibiti. Na Radio Fujiwan na domo ibiti na wonga ni biyanani.